So now we have understood that how we can write down SQL queries and how it returns the result. Now is the time to use a SQL query in an Apex class or in an Apex program. So let me explain you how it basically works. So here is a simple program that will make you understand that how you need to write down the SQL query inside Apex and how it returns the results. So first of all, you need to write down SQL query inside this what square brackets every sql query inside apex needs to be in the square brackets that's how it is basically considered uh, as what as a sql query so you do need to write down it into a square brackets and let me first tell you why you need to do that so apex uh, like with apex you do not need to create the database connection and the uh, like statement object and then you need to execute the query into a string and then it returns the result it is already integrated with the data with the database so apex is already integrated with the database and you write down the sql query inside the square brackets and it re uh, like returns the result in list of s objects so imagine if you are uh, like if you are uh, querying the records of account object then in that case you're going to get a list of account if you're querying the records of student object, then in that case, you're going to get a, a list of student. So you refer the records in Apex, which you have got from the database as S objects. So let's have a look at this program. In here, uh, if you'll see list account, ACC list, I have a list and this like the records or the S objects that are given to this particular list or that will be sa uh, saved into this particular list will be returned by this SQL query and in this SQL query I have written down select name comma number of employees from account so all the account objects record will be returned to this particular list which is ACC list and now if we need to use or if we need to like basically uh, refer all of these S objects then how we can do that is all of the S objects I'm talking about like you got a list and now you need to iterate that particular list so there are two ways of doing it first just create a for loop a simple for loop which will have integer i and it will iterate until the size of uh, until the like size of that particular list so if this list has 20 elements then this loop will iterate 20 times and if this list has 30 elements then this loop will iterate 30 times and over here now what i'm doing is i am debugging i'm just printing or debugging the values uh, of each of the account s object that we have got from this query and uh, and like yeah, we are basically debugging the value of the number of employees field from each of the S objects that we have got from the SQL query. So uh, how we are doing it is ACC list and then with the square bracket notation, I am writing down I. So this I will basically refer to the element on that particular index. So let me explain it to you with the help of uh, a diagram or you would say. So uh, from your database, you got a list inside your apex, right? So there are, here is the first account record, here is the second account record, here is the third account record, here is the fourth account record. So this is a list and lists are indexed always. Uh, so if you want to refer the number of employee field for the first account record, which we have got into this list, then what we have to do is ACC list and then inside the square bracket zero. So this will refer to this account and if we'll write down one, this will refer to this account and if we'll write down three, this will refer to this account. And with the, like when we refer to this particular account and we write down dot number of employees or any of the field, then it will refer to the field value that is present for that particular account. Now it might seem a little bit tricky, but there is another way and that way is very, very easy. If you want to iterate all the records that are present in that particular list and that way is called as for each loop inside of like if you write down for each loop you can iterate to each and every s object that is it that is present into that particular list and here is a simple example for that so in here uh, i am iterating the complete list so what is going on in here is this list has imagine this list has 10 accounts so the first account on the zeroth index will be returned to the reference variable a and with the help of this reference variable a will get the field values a dot name this will return the name value present onto the first account into this acc list 
and uh, like once we are done with this first account record into that particular list then it will automatically move on to the second account then the third account and the fourth account and so on till the elements are there into that particular list so for each loop it's very easy let me uh, like tell it to you once again explain it to you once again so what is happening in here is there is a list right in this list you want to iterate each and every uh, element so how you're going to do that is with the help of for each loop and for each loop what it does is so this is acc list and there is a reference called as a so for each loop uh, assigns this first this first uh, reference into this uh, uh, into this account a reference variable and then we use it with this reference then after that what it does is it removes this reference and assigns the second element to this reference variable and then it again then it again remove the reference from second element and assigns the third element to it so this is how basically the for each loop works